Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on uh, subsets. Uh, this is um, the first question in an IGCSE uh, exam paper. Uh, this particular question carries uh, three marks. So you can do it in less than two minutes if, if you know what you're doing. But I'm going to use, use this as a division exercise. So you don't have to do everything I've done here. Okay. And so, I mean, this is, <laughs> so, yeah. this is the first question in one of 11 questions, and it gets progressively uh, more difficult. So, this one carries three marks. Okay, moving on. Now, if you consider the elements A, B, and C as what you have as, if you, if you, if you, if you think in terms of probability, now uh, A, B, and C, if you look at A, B, and C as three different events, and then draw a tree diagram for these, you end up with something like this here. Okay? And you, you, okay, so in effect, you got um, this is for A, and then B, and then C, right? Okay, now if you go down this route. one 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 you'll get your a b and c now note this symbol here which is similar to your less than less than or equal to symbol in algebra so everything for a b c uh, is equal to everything we got in z a there so that's true. So note the symbol there. Or we can go down this route. A, B, and no C. So we end up with that there. So also note the symbol here that A, B does not. Uh, is that's one short of what is set A. So that's less than set A, if you like. So that's called a proper subset. Yeah, because it's not got everything in set A. We've got A and B there. Or we could do go that way. That way. That way. So we've got just A and C, and we get A and C. Okay, once again, note the symbol there, equivalent to your less than A. You've got just A and C, and not, you've not got B there. So that A and C is less than what you have in set A. Or we could do just A, no B, and no C. And we have A. Once again, know the symbol because it got less than what's in set A. Or we could do that way, that way, and that way. And we have that there. Again, note we have B and C, and that's less than what's in set A. So note the symbol here. The symbol is very important there. Or we could do that one, which has not A at all, and a B, and no C. Like you saw that. Or 
Donc A le B à le C. And lastly, le A le B le C. And that's an empty set, which we can write that in one of two ways, either that way or that way. Again, note the symbol there. So what you've now got is this here. You've got proper set, what's called proper subsets, all the lessons with all the ones with the lesson sign there. Uh, the proper subsets and we've got only one subset there they're all subsets but there are 11 proper i know it's very confusing they're all subsets but there's only but there's, there are seven proper subsets okay and so that's your subset subset of a there now if we tidy this up your answer should be uh, empty set, uh, subset of A, subset of B, subset of C, subset of A, B, A, C, B, C, and A, B, C. Now, the, to check your result, the number of subsets, that's in total, the number of subsets will be 2, 3, 4, N, where N uh, is the number of elements in set A, or the kernel of A. And n is 3, so 2 to the power 3 is 8, and if you count, we've got 8 subsets. But the number of proper subsets would be 2 to the power n, 2 to the power n minus 1. So instead of having, you now have 7 proper subsets, but you've got 8 subsets, okay, and 7 proper subsets. Now the symbol is very, very important when you do this type of test, okay. Right, you're not required to say what the proper subsets are in this question, but I'm just using this one as, as um, a, a division exercise. Now, I hope all that made some sense, and please, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.